principal architect of Fresh Bilwani Associates. I started from Indus Valley School of Art and Architecture and I graduated in 2004. In early days, I was working as a very junior architect and I had exposure to a lot of my teachers were my actually influencers, basically, I would say. I have learned a lot from my Ustad, from Najib Saab to Arshad Saab to Tariq Hassan Saab. All these people were great teachers to me and they still are actually. Unfortunately, Arshad Saab is not anymore, but he was a very good mentor for me. He was a great mentor for me. Allahum ki matfra farmai. When I was studying, you know, I was started doing little some freelance jobs. And today, mashallah, by this year, we have done more than 500 projects. We have done residential, public buildings, large scale public buildings, commercial projects, high end interiors, corporate interiors, and so on and so forth. Our design philosophy actually revolves around practical practical work. It's very basic calm, it's very simple line, straight line. Uh, I koshish to do contextual work which is apne region, se, apne share, se, apne mohalle, se, apne gali, se, uska taluk ho. Endo spaces, in-between spaces, exo spaces, which are Bairuni spaces, hoti hai, or intermediate spaces, which are in-between spaces. Hoti what we try to do, focus on the family on which we are making a house. For me, the guest is important but not as important. The primary importance is given to the client itself. I spend a lot of time with my clients and I actually do it myself. I don't give it to my design studio team, I don't give it to young architects, I do it myself. I try to maximize design brief maximize strongly I have a full control over the design requirements. And one more thing is that what we don't believe is basically in too flashy work. Our lines are very straight, our lines are very simple, very basic, something very easy to maintain. So we don't work with a lot of flashy uh, materials and flashy designs. We work on the design brief, then we work on the plans, and then we work on the elevations and the materials, and then the house goes into the execution and in the end a client gets a very cozy livable practical house the life is very you know uh, challenging these days and every day you see a challenge so there are two sides of, a, of any challenge either you should look at the negative side or either look at the positive side so for me challenges are very interesting I see them and yes they detract you they demotivate you so for me every side has a learning experience we work on our details we improve our details the details that were done five years down the road are now improved and alhamdulillah I can very proudly say that our details are being you know like they are passed on to the younger generation of architects in fact try to copy those details I have which I have no issues so you know built environment is improving for, for that is something which brings me a lot of satisfaction so one of my projects that Islamic Center that is happening for the last eight years it's like a grand mosque on 10 acres for Nayan Azamabad it's a, one of the the largest structure in subcontinent with no column in the middle with a 72 feet dia dome 36 which is height and which was imported from China and during COVID times and everything so uh, that's one of my favorite projects every new house we, we do or every new project we do so we try to add things so that adding becomes a memory and that adding comes from the learning at site spending time with the contractors with my mazdoor with my helper with my welders with my masons and with my plumbers and tile walas and everything so they, they teach me a lot of these those guys are my my friends my family and those guys are my actually teachers basically so yes every project becomes a memorable project industry in Pakistan specifically is going through a tough challenge time because uh, currently country is facing a lot of financial issues and you know all this IMF issues happening and we have kind of short of dollars so I see this as an opportunity for Pakistani we can actually you know expertise we can you know actually work on a local industry we can work on a local products what we need to do as a country we need to align ourselves with the international trends specifically so we need to take our local products and we need to take our international products and international development and we need to have achieve a cohesiveness between the two what we can do we can look up to those materials and those products and develop our industry according to those standards because a lot of uh, product is being developed by the usage of advanced technology for example water saving devices which is of less water uh, there is a lot of development being done in Saudi Arabia where they are requiring to use less water but have the same feel and the same mist in shower for example so technology has to go in align with the products internationally and also that advanced advancement has to be aligned with our local industry and we should be able to cope up with those advancements that are being done internationally i think h2 is a very great place to, uh, to be there you find very good products from antonio and verona actually products they are very fine products they're good quality products i'm personal user of those products basically my experience at h2 was uh, has always been brilliant they have been i think supportive they're very good 
you know client service and i'll be very honest to you i have experience of 20 probably 22 years so you know uh, they respect the elders and they respect the seniors they give a lot of you know love and warmth to when you visit them they give they, they accept you with with open heartedly thanks uh, to the team of h2 they're doing a great job and i hope they will work, keep on working like this aggressively and with energy positive energy thank you